Hey guys, I'm Prodder Chief Marisoft Team Kilo23. This is the last installment of the Backyard Reviews. Today we're checking out my combat machine M4 Raider, or M16 as I called it in the other video. M4 and M16 really looks the same, but I guess it's an M16 for some dumb old reason. Basically, the externals and the internals have completely redone. A lot of it was from uh, spare parts I had lying around. I did not put a lot of money into this gun, which is exactly what I wanted to do. Uh, this stock came from the JGM4 I had, and it just I had to put it on this gun. It already had a MOE flip-up rear and an MOE uh, AFG2, and I was really happy with it. I wanted this look and I wanted this feel, and it turned out really, really nice. <coughs> Start with the uh, externals of the stock and move on. Like I said, um, cheapo $20 eBay MOE stock. It's a replica, not the real thing. I don't want to pay 70 bucks for one of these. That'd be just crazy for an airsoft gun. Uh, I've got it wired to the buffer tube, so it's very streamlined. I've already got a 7.4 GNP 30C battery in there right now. I'll run it for you real quick. And I'm really happy with that rate of fire. Not a lot of gear noise. Uh, moving up a little bit, it already comes with this pistol grip. Uh, MOE rear sight on here, really cheap. Last scan, about uh, 20 bucks on eBay for a set of those. This is, I want to say, an NC Star green, red, and blue dot sight. I got it really cheap at Air Splat when I worked there. Uh, AFG2, uh, another replica, like 15 bucks on eBay. Classic Army Rail System. Uh, basically, I took parts from other M4s I've had over time. A lot of, I tried to stay as combat machine as possible. <clears throat> the outer barrel is still stock combat machine, triangle sight, and all the, uh, the outer barrel is completely stock. I even put a gas tube in here from another combat machine so it fit perfectly. Uh, rail system is classic army, really, really nice. Zero wobble in this rail, I'm very happy with it. Uh, the delta ring and the front ring here are both KWA, and that's probably uh, why there's zero wobble in this. They fit really, really well on combat machines. Uh, that's about it for the externals. I painted the orange tip black. I did not even try to remove it because these plastic tips just don't come off very easily and they're very annoying. Uh, internals, I uh, didn't really do a lot to. <clears throat> I basically chopped the fuse out of the uh, wiring and just wired it to Dean so there's no fuse, stock wiring and everything. Put a Lonix A1 motor in it with a KWA pinion because those mesh really, really well with classic or, uh, sorry, uh, G&G combat machine gears. They sound really good too. Uh, aside from that, piston, piston head, spring guide, spring, they're all stock. I just put a sorbo pad in here and uh, shim the gears, and that was about it for the gearbox. I tried to leave it as stock as possible. The barrel is uh, a Systema 604 uh, brass barrel. It's about 363 millimeters long, and I put a modified flat op in here. So it shoots, uh, when I chronoed it with my dumb little Gardner chrono, it was shooting two FPS, <coughs> within two FPS of 400 FPS every shot, and it's very consistent, and I'm really happy with it. Uh, aside from that, the chamber stock, and that's really about it for this gun. Uh, it has a pretty effective range of about 200 feet to a man-sized target with two fives, which is what I run it with. Uh, it has a good rate of fire, good range, good accuracy, and I'm really happy with it. Uh, I've got a couple other M4s right now, and I kind of switch between those for my main uh, mid-range field guns. This is very lightweight. I'm very happy with it, and I've paid 150 bucks for the gun and I didn't put a lot of money into the spare parts so it's a fantastic little gun for me. This is it for the backyard review project until I get some more guns in to check out. Thanks for watching guys, I'm Predator Chief Marisoft Team Kilo T3. Take it easy.